back to the long-awaited, long-overdue Triple T, Episode 3. That's tips, tricks, and tutorials, Episode 3. Today we'll be spotlighting Billy Preston's gospel opus, his classic, Nothing from Nothing. Now you'll notice we've decided to split this episode into three unique parts. That's episode three, three unique parts. Yeah, we're pretty on theme here. And anyways, we didn't want a 20 to 30 minute snooze fest. We wanted to do five to 10 minute sizable chunks so you wouldn't get overwhelmed learning the song because it is a little bit tricky, trickier than the songs we've done thus far. In any case, we'll get started with part one, covering the intro. In that episode, we'll also cover the iconic lick that goes throughout the song. We'll also go over the chords to this fabulous tune. And then, of course, the very memorable solo. So sit back, relax, get by a piano, and enjoy Triple T, Episode 3. All right, let's get things started with the intro to Nothing From Nothing. It's going to start out with this lick over really outlining a G7 chord. Going to go G, F sharp, G, A, G. It's going to do that twice. Now, this part's doubled by the horns. Um, I like to add something that's not really in the recording. It's a, a, a third harmony. So you go the first time, unison in both hands. And then you're going to start with a B in the left hand. It's going to go B. A sharp, B, C, B. You're going to get this sound. All right. Now, in between these um, two licks, I like to add G octaves. They're hits. Uh, I believe the drum's just doing them in the recording, but I think it sounds cool. Cool. Um, the last lick is this uh, ascending lick that I like to play in uh, full octaves in both hands. It's G, 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 A, A sharp, B. And then we're going to hit a sweet full G7 chord. I like to throw in a sixth. Um, F, B, E in the left hand, F, B, D, G in the right hand. Just like that. And that'll take us into the sort of fabulous lick to the tune. What's up, my pots and pans? Let's get right down to it and deconstruct this classic opening riff from Billy Preston's Nothing From Nothing. Now, this is where I find the tutorials that I've seen on YouTube go astray. They start to vary from one another. They show different patterns. And I want to let you guys know, I slowed this record down. I went so that I could really find every note that Billy Preston really played on that fateful night. Uh, so this is sort of, I present to you, um, to the best of my abilities, what I heard uh, when slowing it down, slowing the record down. Cool, so let's get down to it. We've got C, E, G, C, C, F, A, C, and C, E, G, C. It's just a C, F, C gospel progression. To give it that bluesy crunch, it's C and B flat, adding the flat seventh in the left hand, to C and A, back to C and B flat. You really want to have that extra pizzazz, that extra gumption, that extra mojo zozo, that extra spice. You can add some crush notes. Rolling off the D sharp to the E, or the F sharp to the G, or heck, both. All right. Lastly, we also want to add that foot tap. That, that thump really drives, drives the groove here. Cool. So we have that part that happens four times, and then we have four different uh, licks that go in between each of those. So I'm going to break each of those down one by one. The first one, G, B flat, and C. C, F, A, C, C, E flat, and G. And then we can do this cool E, C, G, F. This is a first inversion C chord, E, G, excuse me, E, G, C. All right, cool. Uh, in the left hand, the same pattern is going to go over each four, uh, each four of these phrases. It's going to be, and that comes on the E of four, the second 16th note. Um, so one, two, three. Four. That's G, A, G. Cool. So here's what that sounds like together in time. Cool. That's the first lick. Done. Second lick starts similarly, but it's a little different, arti different uh, articulated. C, G, B flat, C. C, F, A, C. C, that same E flat and G thing. Going to hit the G. That's going to mirror, mirror that left hand. G, A, G. 
So here's this in time. Alright? And the third one. This is the real monster of the group. This is the toughie. Now, the, all these licks, these phrases, are occurring without any band. So there's no one backing you. The piano sounds very naked and raw. So if you're not really clear, it can kind of stick out like a sore thumb. So here, uh, here's the third one. It starts on G. You're going to crush the D sharp into the E and do a little E-G action. Back to G, F A, back to G. And I'm just going to do this cool arpeggiated chord. This is a really common blues lick. It's going to go E flat and G. And then with your fourth finger on E, you're going to go E, E flat, C, G. Really fast. And that's going to play F and C together. E flat and C. Roll to the E and um, you have that E and C. Here's what this sounds like in time. Now I find this really hard to get the right articulation in the left hand, so sometimes I just leave it out. Because it's, it's busy enough that that can work. Cool, so now we're uh, down to the fourth lick. And the cool thing about the fourth lick is it's the same as that second lick. So you put all those together, you got the riff, the opening riff. And Billy Preston's nothing for nothing. So I hope you've enjoyed part one of this series. Uh, we will get into the chords next time. So to be continued, see all you tips and tricksters next time. <laughs>